So in this video, I'm going to show you some checks you can do on this battery to check it's in good condition before you buy it. And what you'd really like to do is be able to check the amount of charge you can still store in it. Unfortunately, that takes a little bit longer. I'll show you how to do that in a later video, but you have to do that through checking how well it charges, how much energy goes into it as it charges. For this video, I'll just show you some simple visual and voltage checks you can make. And the first of these checks is just to look at these plates and check is there any discoloration on them or on the batteries that you can see through the plates. And this side's good. You can also look at the other side. As you can see there, that's also good. Also, you should check each of these individual fuses that you can see wired into these batteries. So each of these 444 batteries has an individual fuse. And you just check visually that none of those fuses have blown. So I've checked this already, it's all good on this side and also on this side. And then the final check you can make is of the voltages. You can check the total voltage across here and you can also check the individual voltages across those six groups of 74 cells. So each group should have the same voltage. And I'll show you how you can do that now. First, you have to take off this plastic covering. Now you want to keep this plastic covering on normally because it protects the battery from shorting. If you, by mistake, touch some metal between this plate and this plate, it will short this battery. It will create a lot of heat and a lot of sparks. It could also fuse the battery, so it could damage the batteries. So you want to keep these plastic coverings on normally, but to check the voltages, it's important to take these off. So now I have these plates exposed, so it's very important that I don't get any metal touched between these plates here, or these plates here, or over the other side. Now we have to test the voltages, so you can easily test the voltage across the whole battery. Just look at these lugs here, that's 20.73 volts. But then we also want to test the voltages across the individual groups of 74 cells. So we've got one group that goes in here. It's a little bit like a car battery is wired. So you put multiple batteries in, one battery goes in here, and the other battery the other way around comes through here. It's a joint plate there, and then the batteries go turn around, go through the other side there, come up here, around there, and up here. And so they're all wired in series, so that's six groups of those 74 in series. And the way to measure the voltage of those, touch one of the plates here, and the other plate the other side and you'll get the voltage across that group of batteries so that's 3.46 volts 3.461 and then touching the same plate here you move to the other plate this side and you've got 3.458 then touching the same plate this side move to the next plate this side 3.459. It's easiest now if you turn the battery over. And just touch the plate here and the one here. 3.459. 3 3.458. and 3.459. So all of those groups of batteries are within three millivolts of each other, which is a pretty well-balanced battery, certainly nothing to be worried about. So we've checked the voltages, and these six groups are pretty well-balanced. We've done the visual check, there's no discoloration. We've checked all the individual fuses, and because these batteries are pretty robust, you can be very confident that this is a good sound battery. Now we will do the check of the capacity that it can hold, but as I said, that takes a little bit longer. I'll show you that in the next video. For now, I'm gonna put these plastic coverings back on to protect the battery and make sure that none of these plates get shorted.